What's good, Trust and welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, I am Will and you are watching Tool TV. I say also the title, y'all some thumbnail see. I know I'm about to be talking about the time that I went viral. Well, actually, I went viral three times. It's a blessing and a curse to go viral. I'm about to explain, but first and foremost, if you are new to Trust and TV and you never seen any of my videos, become a trust that you can see there's something for everybody on Trust and TV. I'm trying to tell you, you won't be disappointed. But also, when you subscribe to the new effect, you are gonna subscribe, turn your post notifications so you can get all nah, nah, and not some other notifications videos i'm trying to tell you like i said how are you i would subscribe don't wait until i got 10k 100k a million subscribe now it's free it's the free 99 to click that red subscribe button right there i said it's a blessing and a curse to go viral because yeah you get all these people on your page subscribing to your youtube or following you on social media but the curse is you can't sleep. I mean, like the notification I turned off all the notifications of my phone, and I'm still getting notifications. And then when I go to Twitter, I'm still going viral. All that. But I'm thankful for going viral because, of course, I promote my channel. But anyway, so I'm about to tell y'all about the times that I went viral. So the first time was last year. I mean, I went semi-viral before. I've only went viral, viral like three times. So the first time was last year. It was July 12th. Yeah, July 12th. I was tweeting about Mariah per usual. Sometimes I act Mariah and sometimes I just say Mariah. If you do not know, Mariah is my favorite singer, songwriter, producer of all time. So I'm always talking about Mariah on Twitter. So, but this time, I don't know, I be feeling like she see it. Sometimes I see her like other people tweet. So I'm like, you know, I might as well just add her. So I said, Mariah, how many likes and retweets do I have to get for you to sing open arms at the Butterfly Returns residency? So I was just like, she ain't gonna see this because at this time everybody was asking their faves or like random people how many likes and how many retweets do i have to get for you to do such and such so i'm just like you know let me just tweet this and i'm laying in the bed and my phone starts to like vibrate my phone just starts to go off and i'm like why is my phone going off like this i'm not nobody special of course i do youtube but at this time i only had like 3,000 subscribers on youtube so i'm like ain't nothing happening on youtube for real for real then i open my twitter when i tell you i was in shock of what i saw Mariah Carey replied to me. I cried because like I said before, I stand her not just because of her vocal abilities, her writing abilities and her producing abilities, but because she's a humble human being. And a lot of people don't know that, but if you're a lambda, you know that. She's not the type of artist that's just gonna put out music just for you to buy. She's gonna interact with her fans and that's why I love her. And so for her to take time out her day to reply to little old me, I mean, big old me because I'm fat. But when she replied, she replied with such big numbers and the lambs don't trying to support it. She replied 327,000 with the heart. So I'm like, oh well. But I still had hope because I don't give up. I got like a thousand likes or something, likes or retweets, I don't know. I ain't about to go check. I'm gonna put it on the screen for y'all to see. It wasn't me going viral that made me happy. It was the fact that my favorite singer, songwriter, producer of all time replied to me you know because i listen to this woman sing every single day i watch her interviews every single day so it really made me happy fast forward to the end of 2019 and the beginning of this year i'm always talking about support because i'm so big on support if we friends i feel like you should support me no matter what period point blank because i'm gonna support you at this time i was feeling like i was around a lot of people who wasn't supporting me like how we friends but you're not supporting me how you how we friends but you're not posting my youtube channel how we friends but you waited for me to post about my youtube channel for you to post about my youtube channel and at this time i was doing youtube for like a year and a half so you know my channel you know how to get to my channel you know how to support me and so i was fed up to the max i wanted to keep the friends that i had but i got tired of them not supporting me but now they're gone because i got time for the foolishness so somebody had tweeted what's one thing that you won't accept in 2020 so i quoted tweeted saying 
unsupportive friends regardless of how long we've known each other. At this time, I was always tweeting about my friends not supporting me just so they could see it because a lot of them follow me on Twitter. And then once again, I'm chilling at home. This is winter break. You know, at this time, I was doing vlogging, so I was extremely tired. I kept getting behind, so at night, I had to think of ideas and all that. But anyways, so I'm chilling at home, and my phone vibrated, and I'm like, what is going on? What's wrong with my phone? Then I opened Twitter. I had a flood of notifications, likes, comments. What is it called on Twitter? Comments, reply, replies, quoted tweets. I'm like, what is this? Then I clicked the tweet and it was my tweet. I'm like, wow. When I first started seeing that was going on, I was like 1,000. I'm like, it ain't really gonna do nothing. And then it got to 10,000. And then 20,000, and now it just hit 30,000. And of course, I promoted my YouTube channel because if you don't promote yourself, who else gonna promote you? And so I promoted my YouTube channel, and you know, I was really happy that I went viral. But why I had to tweet that, you know, I'm not so happy about that because I take friendships really seriously. I really mess with you if I call you my friend because I don't call everybody my friend. The last time I went viral was a few days ago. So, Y'all know the villain and the actual villain meme that's on Twitter. Is it meme or is it just, I don't know. But y'all know what I'm talking about. So I'm like, okay, so I agree with some of these, but I didn't see anything dealing with the shows that I watch for real for real, like Haves and Half Nights, Empire, How to Get Away with Murder. So I'm like, I just finished How to Get Away with Murder and I love this series. I wish they made more episodes or they could just put out some of the episodes that got scrapped. So I'm just like, so why don't I just tweet about How to Get Away with Murder? So then I said the series villain was Annalise because the kids blame Annalise for everything, every single thing. She didn't do nothing but protect him the whole entire time. When they talked about her like a dog, she was there for them period point blank to the end to the very end. So they tried to make her seem like a villain, but she wasn't, she wasn't a villain. The kids were the villains. They could have went to the police as soon as they killed Sam. They broke into that woman's house. So when people say that Annalise was the villain, no, she was not. She wasn't the best, but she wasn't the villain. The actual villains was the Keaton Five. They killing people, they breaking into people's houses and everything, and they blame everything always on Annalise. They had so much hatred for Annalise up until the end. They were blaming Annalise. Well, who got on the stand first? Michaela or Michaela or Michaela kind of got on the stand first. I can't remember, but Michaela got on the stand and lied, said that Annalise and Wes had an affair. <sighs> lied through her teeth, through her teeth. Kinda got to understand, he lied like a dog too. Bitch put it all on Annalise. Everything on Annalise. Said that she told us to kill Sam. She told us to cover it up. Laurel Casti, Casti, Castigo, Casti, Castillo, Casti. If you watch How to Get Away with Brother, you know what I'm talking about. How Tegan said Castillo, 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 Castillo. Laurel Castillo? She's part of my clinic. Miss Castillo. Miss Castillo, you're taking lead. Why is Miss Castillo wrong? Let's hear it, Miss Castillo. But anyways, then when Laurel got on the stand, she started off by lying, but then she finally told the truth. And I was like, yes, Laurel, see, I knew it was the reason why I liked you a little bit. But when you went MIA, I didn't like you for that. Like, how you leave the Keaton 5? But anyways, then my ringtone started going off. And I'm like, why my phone blowing up like this? Then I opened my phone. And I see all these notifications on Twitter. I'm like, I went viral again? And of course, I'm thankful for it. But I'm like, wow, like, I value my sleep. I do this late at night. My phone was just going off I'm trying to sleep then the next day it just blew up to like 10k and then I think it's at like 20k now yeah it's at 26,000 and 57,000 likes sheesh then I was like why don't I be selfless I mean I'm selfless per usual because I'm just a nice person I'm a giving person I'm a caring person so then I found a petition for 
the black LGBTQ plus community. And I put it in the thread first, just because, just to show my support because we don't get enough love. Then I put the Black Lives Matter petition just to show my support for the black community because I'm black. Then of course, I promoted my own YouTube channel. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, you comment, and when you subscribe to know for a fact, you are gonna subscribe, turn your post notifications so you get all night night, not some of the notification videos. I'm trying to tell you, how are you? I will be comfortable with it because like I said before, as you can see, there's something for everybody on Trusted Weird TV and I will catch you on the next episode of Trusted Weird TV. I am gone.